My name is Alan Rubaha. I'm the director of physical plant here at Wesleyan. My responsibility is roughly 370 acres, 312 buildings, and around 3 million square feet of Wesleyan campus. In October 2011, a nor'easter blew through Connecticut. We had trees down all over the community. We had branches down all over the place. We had wires down, probably several hundred homes without power. We have been used to outages of three and four hours, but once we passed 30 hours, we actually had trouble keeping residence halls warm. We had trouble serving food and had an enormous impact on Wesleyan. We felt this sort of vulnerability that we never felt before. And we realized that we needed more emergency power on campus and we needed more reliable power on campus. After the snowstorm, the state of Connecticut's been very aggressive about putting into place microgrids. Microgrid technology bundles typically distributed generation energy sources, providing power when it's available where it's needed. What's exciting about that is it gives them the ability to generate electricity independently of the electrical grid. And Wesleyan University was one of the first awarded locations to build a combined heat and power generation source on campus. In terms of emergency power, Siemens combined heat power solutions are the best for not only sustainability, but for reliability and for long-term maintenance costs. It's basically taking an engine, using it to produce electricity, and simultaneously recovering the heat from both the exhaust and the engine cooling system. With the year-round demand for both power and for thermal load, the Freeman Athletic Center was the ideal situation for combined heat power. The engine is not only very clean burning, but we also added emissions controls to it, which means that we can produce power much more cleanly than the utility can. Because it's more efficient, it's uh, better for the environment. In many cases, it's cheaper to produce power than what you're seeing from the utility. Every day we run the engine, we save approximately $1,000 over buying electricity from the utility. Not only did they want to save money, but they also looked at their responsibility to their students, to their faculty, to the research and development work that's being done on campus. I think that universities are actually uniquely suited to a combined heat power solution, and the result is companies like Siemens can bring to us solutions. It's really exciting to be part of that team, to be able to meet the expectations of Wesleyan, and those are the projects that we like to do, and it shows how Siemens meets the needs of the market. Wesleyan having its own ability to power a significant portion of the campus and to house people safely and to serve as a distribution center for FEMA is of paramount importance. When the next big storm comes, the city of Middletown and the federal government can rely on Wesleyan to have power.